One of my jobs as a daddy is to help my kids when they have questions about their schoolwork. And several years ago, my oldest daughter, who was about 12 at the time, had a question about something that came up on one of her tests. The question was, why do countries trade with other countries? I didn't quite see what the problem was until she explained that, well, daddy, countries don't trade with one another people in countries trade with one another. It was a very proud father moment, realizing that some of the discussions we have had had really sunk in. Because when we talk about trade, a lot of times in a political aspect, it gets misrepresented. For instance, one of the biggest complaints we hear is about trade deficits, because the United States has huge trade deficits with certain countries all over the world. And this has led some to suggest that the only way out of this mess is to engage in protectionist trade policies higher tariffs, more subsidies to American industry, and greater trade restrictions. But are trade deficits something to fear? Well, renowned economist Thomas Sowell once said that we should be about as concerned about trade deficits as we are about getting randomly struck by lightning. Now, this seems counterintuitive to many of us, but it actually makes perfect sense if we think of trade as what it is instead of what it's often advertised as for political purposes. Trade is often characterized as a competition between countries. This really doesn't make sense. Trade between people is the heartbeat of an economy. And every time a voluntary trade takes place, both sides are actually made wealthier. And trade deficits, while often spoken of as something bad or unusual, are perfectly natural. For instance, I have a 100% trade deficit with my local coffee shop. I buy coffee from them, but they never buy anything from me. Does this mean that I'm worse off as a result of the transaction? No, not even close. In fact, the more options people have in an economy to trade, the better off we all are. Certain people and companies may be more suited to provide certain things, whether it be raw materials, products, or services. And while it may sound tempting to raise tariffs on things like steel or sugar in order to benefit American producers of these products, it's important to remember that a tariff is actually a tax, a tax that you pay. A trade restriction is a government actively telling you that you're not allowed to benefit from certain transactions you may prefer. And while certain industries may lobby the government to protect them against competition, ultimately they are hurting, not helping, American consumers and producers by legally denying them access to a product they want or forcing them to pay higher prices to produce the very things that American consumers desire. So remember, trade is simply about choice. And every time the government prevents you from making the choices you want, they're not serving your interests, but rather the special interests of people with better lobbyists. If you want to learn more about how choice in the economy and voluntary transactions makes us all better off, check out this video on why are some people so rich?